In Windchill, you can create part instances in order to trace the as-built configuration of different objects. Here I am on the object information page for a top-level assembly. If I go to my custom configuration management tab, here I have two different part configurations that I created in another video. If I go to the information page, well, here I am on the details page. I can go to the structure tab. And then over here, we have a tab for the different part instances. But if I go to the actions drop down menu, I do not have the ability to create a new part instance. And the problem is, I never changed the common attribute for default trace code for the actual product itself. Let's go do that. I will use my recently accessed list to go back to the object information page. Let's go to actions and then edit common attributes. And here we can see that, if I make this a little bit wider, that the default trace code for this object is untraced. I want to track these different objects by the serial number, and then I will click the OK button. If I go to my details page, now we can see that the default trace code is updated. Let's go to the actions command and then new. And now I have the ability to create a new part instance. Let me jump back over to the part configuration that I was looking at. So again, we don't have any part instances. Now, if I go to the actions drop down menu, I do have the ability to create a new part instance. So just be aware that the default trace code has to be set to something other than untraced. Let me click on the command. And now I have the base part version selected. And since I initiated this from the part configuration for released a prototype series one, it's automatically listed in here. But you can actually change which part configuration that you are using. And now I will give a serial number. Let's make something up. I will call this A1-001. Keep it nice and simple and then click the OK button. And it tells me that the object was successfully created. And I can see that we have all the different objects listed in the basic part structure. Let's take a look at creating the new part instance for the other configuration that I created. Let's go to the recently accessed list in order to get to the series two of the released A prototype configuration. Again, we don't have any part instances. I can go to the actions drop down menu and choose new part instance and the serial number for this one. I will call this A2-001 and click the OK button. And now we're on the part instance page. And you can see that since this one was created with the full structure, we can see that we have both the serialized objects and unserialized objects in here. And we can see the part instance listed up here at the top. And then if I want to allocate different serialized objects to this, well, I would have to create the serialized objects for these different ones that are capable of being serialized and then incorporate them into this particular part instance. Let's go back to the part configuration using the hyperlink. And just for what I'm going to do in a later video, let's create a, another part instance. I just want to have multiple ones available to me. Let's create A2-002 and click the OK button. And the object was created. Let me close the toaster and then go back to this one. And let's create one more. Again, just to have variety for allocating different objects. And we'll call this one the A2-003. Click the OK button. The object was created. Let's close the toaster. Let me go back to the top level assembly object information page. Now, if I go to my custom configuration management tab, here we can see the four 
individual serialized objects that I created in order to track the different as-built configurations as I create them. Let's grab this column and make it a little bit wider so we can see that we have one created from one of the part configurations and three created from the other part configuration. So that's how you create your different serialized objects for the top level assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.